ओके यस मैम so we'll perform today our experiment number through two from high voltage engineering and experiment number is breakdown in uniform and non uniform field in uh, just now today's uh, lecture i talk with the uh, breakdown in non uniform field is different than uniform field we'll apply townsend theory for uniform and streamer theory for non uniform field i have just explained in morning lecture that how electric field intensity varies in non uniform field a point plate a plate electrode will take rod rod electrode will take and sphere sphere electrode will take how intensity variation will be there you can also go through the video recording of that and now we'll just perform experimentally what we are discussed uh, in theory lectures i am trying to align every practical along with the theory so that you will understand in better way so let us see how breakdown in uniform and non uniform field occurs which is more uh, earlier which is more later or which occurs at less voltage which occurs at high voltage what is the difference in the voltage for the same gap distance and other conditions remaining same now go to we lab students all of you because simultaneously you have to do uh, experiment you need to do yourself you have to share me readings uh, like in last experiment you shared in chat box or in whatsapp group and then i marked your attendance so so in similar way uh, you need to show me readings so go to virtual lab we lab.com open electrical lab from electrical lab go to din dial virtual lab and in the in the virtual lab you will open experiment experiment i title uh, is different effect of electrode shape on breakdown voltage because when we are just studying breakdown in non uniform field it is as good as we are just observing the effect of electrode shape on the breakdown voltage okay and then i will also tell you how um, second year student prepared the video with under my guidance because i had just asked to second year students do perform yourself and also create video like i am creating video for you you also create video for other students which will find difficulty to understand and perform the experiments and uh, i will also show you how fantastic uh, ac students uh, did that video okay and then uh, you will open experiment you will try to perform because everything is there on virtual lab not only equipment and apparatuses are available but write ups are also there procedure is there theory is there okay and uh, then uh, observation tables are there graphs are also there and uh, after performing virtual lab experiment you need to give feedback to the virtual lab with our college login okay you use college email id and with college email id you have to give uh, feedback to the virtual lab of the indira lab because we are using uh, that lab so we must um, offer our uh, sincere thanks acknowledgement to them you have that practice and when you will attach your um, uh, readings and calculations and graph in your journal you need to attach your feedback snapshot also when you will give feedback then you need to take a screenshot and that screenshot you will post in your write up and uh, also um, while performing a virtual lab experiment you need to take one photograph also you can ask to your um, Uh, friends or your uh, family member to take photograph in, in that photograph you should be there and you performing that virtual lab screen also should be there so that photograph also you need to attach in the uh, write up uh, whenever we we'll perform virtual lab it is required and third thing is that you have to appear quiz also because on virtual lab quiz are also there so you give to quiz and uh, whatever are your marks you have to take a screenshot of that uh, your marks uh, and quiz and you have to attach in the submission so for virtual lab experiment three situations uh, submissions are required in your write up first is photo performing on virtual lab second is feedback given to the uh, virtual lab and third is uh, your quiz marks if quiz is there okay along with the write up and then only i will consider it is your submission okay so now let us start i will tell you the steps you can go so go through the virtual lab go to your any browser any browser you can go what is happening i am not able to do that
go to vlab students vlab.com you can go go to vlab.com www.vlab.com vlab go to vlab virtual lab okay then here you can go vlab co in now in virtual lab as i told last time that you will get this is ministry of education's virtual lab we are just entered into virtual lab by putting we lab co in ministry of education's virtual lab we are using and then here you can see objectives and broad areas of virtual lab now you can go to electrical engineering lab okay many experiments will not be only uh, from electrical engineering but some experiments are from physical science at that time i will go on telling you now today's experiment is in electrical engineering lab okay so number of labs are there at kharagpur roorki guwahati delhi hyderabad kanpur bombay amruta vishwavidyapitham okay so go into electrical engineering lab now in electrical engineering lab we will use today dayal bag lab okay in oral questions these type of questions will come which experiment suppose i am asking you questions on this experiment i will ask you where you did where you perform that you have to tell performation also okay so dil dayal bag uh, virtual lab you have to use from dayal bag uh, we will use virtual power lab okay so we have to go virtual power lab enter in that virtual lab now you just try to understand what to do and later on i will give you time then you perform and then i will ask you uh, readings to post and when you will post readings then i will mark your attendance okay marks performation marks i will give so here home is there experiments are there basic equipments are there measurements are kape means you can see characteristics lab safety feedback and then power lab so here after performing experiment you have to go in feedback to give feedback you have to register log in to the lab first okay? and for login or registering you have to use college um, id yeah college uh, email id you have to use so let us go into the experiment so how many experiments are there in this virtual lab power lab so synchronization of alternator machine experiment positive sequence negative sequence dielectric strength of transform oil here is experiment but i show you video in our lab and other videos but we can also see this okay so now today's experiment is to study the effect of different shape of electrodes on dielectric air breakdown so our experiment title is breakdown in uniform and non uniform field okay now here you can just see other experiments are related to protection okay parent effect protection protection only two experiments are there related to virtual lab but here oil testing uh, i would like to request you uh, when i perform uh, that is not working today you can try if you could finish earlier you can try and tell me it's working or not now let us go to the this experiment number 5 write down in your notebook steps so in experiment number 5 you, you can see objective to study the effect of different shape of electrodes on dielectric breakdown equipment required of course high voltage i have given you general test circuit uh, high voltage uh, transform is required auto transform is there circuit breaker is required voltmeter is required every majority experiments in high voltage required high voltage transformer auto transformer control panel then uh, electrode sets because we have to see effect of electrode we have to create uniform field non uniform field so different electrodes are there required so electrode sets so flat electrodes means plate plate electrode okay plain plain electrode then uh, these are disc electrodes then uh, you can just see pointed electrode i have to shown you today point plane electrode we discuss it what will be electric field intensity in point plane then this is block diagram so this is hv transformer electrodes are there and uh, hv control disc is there but instead of this diagram you use our generalized circuit diagram given in the right up and always we will use that 
um, because uh, from lab supply it has to connect to auto transform primary then auto transform secondary will be uh, connected to the primary of hv transform and secondary of hv transform i will show you the journal also write up also afterwards we will see that how to write down that uh, write up also so procedure setups uh, are given steps are given so what are the procedure given high voltage transformer unit place the high voltage transformer unit about seven feet away from the control unit why why this because we will be operating control here and we should not near to this sphere gap because ionization when it will start happening then we may get that ions or charge and then uh, we'll get shock so safety precautions are there very large distance so that ionization in this gap will not take place and we will be away from the charge okay then uh, the control unit is connected to supply voltage taking care that the earth uh, connections are effective in high voltage earthing connections are very essential so this high voltage transform secondary has to connect to the earth okay so i will show you in our diagram the multiple point control switch is set as lowest stepping so when we are just uh, controlling voltage or means auto transformer initial auto transformer has to be at zero uh, voltage unless and until voltage is not zero high voltage should not be on that we discussed all these precautions in the first experiment so the push button on control unit is pressed firmly at least five seconds okay for at least five seconds this push button you have to keep in the press situation and note that no breakdown to occurs and when case push button will be released then you just see uh, what is happening breakdown has occurred or no so let us start it's very simple because as all experiments are simulations so objective equipments block diagram i will explain uh, this with our block diagram also and theory concepts we have discussed in morning also now let us see theory and observations simulations okay what observations are here given distance breakdown for sphere flat foot okay you take same observation table write down first observation table so first uh, column will be observation number instead of serial number you just say observation number second will be gap distance write down second gap distance which are given here in mm gap distance okay then you make uniform field uniform field uniform field in that we will see flat electrode and then you make non-uniform field and in non-uniform column you make two columns for sphere and point because we have to compare breakdown in uniform and non-uniform field. So our observations will be uniform field, plate, plate electrode or flat electrode. And for non-uniform, you split up that non-uniform column into again two sub-columns. First will be sphere and second will be point, point. Point, point and sphere, sphere, okay. Now let us start simulating simulation so when we'll start simulation simulation of x number 5 checking breakdown voltage of breakdown electron so this is simulation try to understand first and then you perform okay now here you can just see these electrode setups are there and this is high voltage transformer okay and here is voltmeter or gap distance we'll see so we have to change electrodes in our level so we have electrodes different set uh, electrodes are there but uh, try to learn first on virtual lab and now see these electrodes we can change what can be electrodes sphere sphere so here we discuss in morning sphere sphere is an example of uniform field also and non-uniform field also now with reading you will tell me what is its uniform pill or non-uniform pill you will tell me okay and then pointed means these are point point okay needle needle or point point okay 
second needle needle or point point and third is flat flat so out of this flat flat is uniform let us see is it uniform or non-uniform okay because i told sphere sphere is example of uniform as well as non-uniform let us see now here how we can change the gap distance so select the distance between the electrodes so gap distance select in electrodes are given 10 mm 20 mm 30 mm 40 mm 50 mm okay you need to take at least four readings because we need to plot graph graph of breakdown voltage write down here that the graph will plot not the voltage here it they are showing how voltage is varied but we need to take breakdown voltage final value okay and instead of time we will take gap distance you have to plot a graph of breakdown voltage versus gap distance for uniform field non-uniform field only on one single graph paper because here we are comparing breakdown in uniform field and non-uniform field and, and again in next lecture Wednesday's lecture we will see the comparison in detail okay so practical theory i am just uh, coordinating so here now let us start with 10 mm gap distance 10 mm gap distance now electrodes are spherical so here voltmeter is showing zero voltage is zero so here we have to start the experiment and then increase voltage for increasing voltage we have to press this push button then voltage will be increased now in our lab we will just press button voltage will go on increasing or with the help of auto transform this we have to move but here it is push button so once you have to click go on clicking go on clicking so here uh, automatically graph of voltage versus time of variation is given okay so just go on increasing fast just go on clicking press 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 now here you observe when breakdown will take this, you can observe the spark. Yes. Now see when spark occurs, immediately this voltage goes to zero. Why that voltage goes to zero? Voltage goes to zero because now air in this sphere electrode is now become ionized. Means conducting. So no insulating material, only resistance of the electrode is in the circuit for very high voltage kilo, 23. So, for spheres, we are 10 mm, you got the 23 breakdown voltage. Okay, now take second reading. For the same electrodes, just start increasing voltage. Now, if gap distance increases, breakdown voltage has to increase. So, we have to get more than 21. Now, see here. Yes. So, 33.38.3 second reading. So, you take a snapshot when spark has occurred along with you and your screen. Very good photo, you just take it. Now, again, we got 38. Okay, now let us 38.3. Let us take third reading. Just go on. In more than 38, we should get it. Yes, 53.3. So, you have to take three readings or four readings, okay? And do variable reading, do yourself experiment. Then change for point point and then change for flat flat. And then you write down conclusion. Here, breakdown occurs. Breakdown number one, voltage 53 point. It is coming here as graph is also coming, okay? So, start students, perform this experiment and write down your conclusion. We will just come back after 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes are sufficient. Okay, At the two, because I had to explain, I had to show you video also, how student prepared a, a experiment on this. And then uh, we will just uh, discuss it uh, with our write-up, how you will write down write-up. Okay. So let us start doing that. Students do that experiment. Start doing.
Okay, students, I have given you 15 minute break and I hope that you have performed reading. I will ask you later on. Before that, let us see how you will submit the write-up. I would like to show you the uh, our write-up, okay, which I have already mailed to you, write-up. So, if you have not received, can you see write-up? Students? Students? So, okay, so this write up already I have mailed you all uh, experiments together. So, this is experiment number two. It is divided in two parts. First part is breakdown in uniform field, and second part is breakdown in non uniform field. So, as I told you, usually I have to use this generalized circuit diagram for high voltage testing because in oral you need to answer with respect to this diagram. You should be able to draw the diagram also. So, write-up is given, you will not draw, but you have to remember and you can draw in oral exam. So, as usual, we will use our lab voltage, which is 230 AC voltage. Then, auto transformer is there and this auto transformer is for varying the voltage. Just now, in virtual lab, we varied with the push button. But here, in lab, we will vary with auto transformer, okay. And then, that auto transformer secondary output will give to the transformer high voltage transformer and in our hv lab we have 230 by 80 kilovolt uh, transformer and then primary will be given with the output of uh, varying voltage and then secondary of uh, high voltage transfer will be given to the uniform field now sphere sphere or uh, plate plates are uniform field okay so uh, when uh, you will go on varying voltage slowly as you vary with push button you can observe breakdown at certain voltage that you are noting down as a breakdown voltage from the voltmeter. Circuit breaker is required to trip the circuit, remove high voltage from the electrode because it is still after breakdown. You will keep this high voltage, then very high current will start flowing. Because now there is no insulation, air has break down, air has started conducting, conduction has started uh, through the sphere gap and you have seen on the graph on virtual lab how voltage goes to zero. So short circuit because only resistance in this circuit C, very high voltage in kilovolt and only resistance in the circuit is resistance of the secondary winding of transfer and resistance of the electrode which is very small. And thousands of kilo ampere will start flowing through the transformer college wiring, which are not designed for so huge current. So hazardous thing can happen. So circuit breaker has to trip. Now here you have to show or thing. Okay, write down while uh, doing accent. You have to note down instructions and then submit this journal. So show here uh, our thing. Show here our thing. Okay. And then. This diagram you will put uh, as a plate plate electrode. Uh, just now you have taken plate plate electrode on virtual lab. So this is the diagram. Here it indicates some values. A. A is a, a, a height of HV electrode from the ground. And here some uh, you can just see this sphere. So it indicates safety zone. What was uh, mentioned in uh, safety precautions in virtual lab. You should be away from the electrode. So this distance should be very large. And this is indicated as a safety zone. So we should be here. Okay. Away from this safety zone. And height of HV electrode from the ground should be very high. Otherwise ionization will take space between this electrode and earth. Because earth is at zero potential. We don't want ionization to happen between the earth and the electrode. We want to happen between two electrodes. Okay. So generally this electrode which earth. So this electrode is also earth. You can just see. And this height should be also proper. Then here high resistance is shown in series with HV electrode. So to limit the current when breakdown occurs, current immediately increases. And I told you resistance of electrode is only in the circuit. So to limit that high voltage current, high resistance is connected in series with HV electrode. In overall, it will be as why series resistance is connected. And also it damps the oscillation. Because see, earlier when gas is there, air is there, perfect as an insulator, then it is open circuit. No current will start flowing and it's open circuit. But when sudden breakdown occurs, it is short circuit. So transients are created. 
and near my uh, load which is suppose lab um, lamps are there fans are there tubelets are there so near my load this voltage fluctuations oscillations will have impact so to damp the oscillations this high resistance will also uh, be useful to damping the insulation so series resistance is used for two purpose go on writing down in the paper all these are very important for oral discussions Resistance is connected in series with HV electrode to damp the oscillations uh, when spark occurs and also to control the currents in the circuit when spark occurs. Okay. And what is A? What is this safety zone? All you write down. So that was the uh, electrode, uh, plate electrode. Now, here one um, instruction is written electric field intensity variation in uniform field to be added you draw that in today's morning i have given you this diagrams you can watch earlier video you can see how that diagrams are uh, plotted and explain you draw it here for plate plate electrode okay so you need to draw it on your uh, um, page and then take photo of that page and you have to attach past here that figure or one page whatever work you will do that one additional page you can also attach at one place okay and then gap distance and breakdown voltage and conclusion see what is the conclusion as the gap distance increase breakdown voltage increase that is explain i explain you then breakdown voltage with uniform field is greater than none that will see it from the reading you tell me reading and now second uh, here non-uniform field is given here now uh, point plate is given but now in virtual you did it with the point point okay so point point you will uh, you have to remember uh, on which electrode you perform the experiment okay so note down that here you use point point electrode not the point plate okay here also you need to draw diagram for point point and sphere sphere you draw diagram here okay and then again observation table now tell me what readings you got share your observation table and uh, then we will discuss the conclusion so i would like to show you uh, some uh, experiment done by second year student on the same experiment, experiment so that will help you to understand it this okay so just see good morning ma'am my name is Can suresh patel and my friend manas sticker we are going to explain activity 13 for yes, material science and okay. we are guided by mrs so that mangal was the activity Our done by second year students suraj patil and manas sir see how is wonderfully they perform this experiment on different shapes of electrode on dielectric breakdown voltage now we will see the basic of dielectric breakdown Dielectric breakdown or electric breakdown is a process that occurs when an electric insulating material is subjected to high voltage and suddenly it becomes an electric conductor. Now we will see breakdown voltage depends on these following factors. The first one is distance between conductors. As the distance between the electrode increases, the breakdown voltage also increases. As the second one is size, it varies with the distance. Third one is the nature of surface. In, in that, the uniform one, the both the electrodes are of same size and shape. And for non-uniform, both the electrodes are different. And the fourth one is temperature. As the temperature decreases, breakdown voltage increases. It is vice versa for this condition. Now we will see the equipments required for this experiment. The first one is see high voltage nice transformer. In this a step down transformer is used. Second one is HV control desk. This is an safety and warning equipment. The third one is spherical electrode. The fourth one is flat electrode and the fifth one is pointer electrode. Now we will see the different types of arrangement. The first one is horizontal arrangement and the second one is vertical arrangement. Sphere, sphere or see, electrode can be a, We have both arrangement in our lab. Okay. The block diagram. In this, the HV control desk is connected to the transformer and the whole setup is ready 
and as we can see the the three electrodes present here now my friend manas will conduct the experiment o over to you manas we will see the simulation for this experiment this experiment is on virtual lab which is created by indian education ministry see how he has given thanks to virtual lab these are all etiquette students whatever we use we have to be grateful to them okay so he just displayed thank message to in the lab also similarly you will give feedback okay how these habits how these etiquettes uh, of uh, means uh, working in online media in this there is three types of Uh, electrode shapes spherical pointed and flat so For we have just seen shape, this okay at a distance 10 mm now we'll discuss the reading and conclusion and okay you just start sharing your uh, results so what you obtain uh, from uh, this um, experiment you start your observation table in chat box i will go through that and simultaneously i will mark uh, your performance marks and uh, then uh, we'll discuss further conclusion okay